Okay, we're ready. And we talked about Joseph last week, right? Mm -hmm. And Joseph was sold into Egypt, wasn't he? Because his brothers were what? Mean. Were they jealous? Yes. Because they didn't like it. Because Joseph had some dreams. And they didn't like his dreams, did they? Well, he got sold into Egypt. And then you know what happened to him down there? What? He got to work for a real famous person in Egypt. And this man's wife told a lie on Joseph. So Joseph got them into like, the prison. Well, while he was in prison, two men was in there with him, a baker and a butler. Do you know what a butler is? That's a man that takes care of someone and brings them their coffee and opens the door. If somebody comes to the door, just kind of waits on somebody, kind of like a waiter. Okay, these two men made Pharaoh mad. Thank you. So Pharaoh threw them in jail. Yeah, and you know what happened when they were there? Guess what? They had some dreams. Now, who do you think could tell them the answer to those dreams? Who, who, who's good about dreams? Joseph. Joseph said. He could tell them because God would tell him, right? Okay, so God took it let him know and he told these two men their what their dreams meant and then guess what happened one of them he, he got killed his dream was about him getting killed so he didn't make it the other one the dream said you're going to go back and work for the pharaoh so he got to go back and work for the pharaoh for two years <laughs> And then, guess what? Pharaoh had a dream. Two of them. It seems like everybody's dreaming. Two dreams, doesn't it? Well, Pharaoh's dream, I'll show you what his dream was about. His first dream was about a fat cow. Seven of them. Carrie, can you count to seven? One, two, three, four. about these seven fat cows and then he dreamed about that's a sick looking cow with seven of those little old skinny cows how? ate the fat cows how? Oh, I don't know how they done it either but that's what happened ate them okay then Pharaoh dreamed again and this time he dreamed about that corn you just seen beautiful guess how many there was Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we, yeah, good job, good job. So there he did, he dreamed about them seven good ears of corn. Okay. Okay. Now, I, I can't believe those little skinny cows What eat the the fat cow. I don't know how they did it either. But then the corn. It's a dream, remember? Bad. Yes, it's a and dream. And it might have a meaning. It might have a meaning from the Lord. You'll have to ask that later. And then the seven ears, the seven big, nice, beautiful stalks of corn. Seven little skinny ones that wasn't no good come along and took care of them. And now they're no good. Happened. Remember the butler that had the dream? He said, Pharaoh, I know somebody that can tell you what them dreams mean. And Pharaoh said, well, bring him to me. And so they went and got Joseph out of prison and brought him to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, told him his dream. And Joseph said, I can't tell you the dream, but God can. And, and the Lord told Joseph what the dreams meant. And he said, the seven fat cows 
Harry, you remember the seven fat cows? Yeah. Okay, he said, and the seven corn, good corn? He said, that is going to be seven good years. <laughs> You're going to be able to plant a garden. You're going to be able to get a whole lot of food. And you need to put them in barns because those old skinny cows and those old skinny corns means seven years you're not going to be able to plant a garden. Seven, seven of them. Seven yes. fat cows and seven skinny cows would that, would that be good because the skinny cows is littler in, in the fat cow. Well, they, and, and they put horses and yes. feed and all of that kind of stuff. Well, in these farms, they put food. And for seven years, they just kept putting food. Can you imagine seven years of food? That's a lot of food, isn't it? Hey, they put animals in there, too. Yes, they do put animals in barns, too. Okay, seven years, they put a lot of food in. Then, there was no food. And, except what was in the barns. And you know what? You know what happened? People were getting hungry. They were getting really hungry. No food. Couldn't couldn't even grow a potato. Couldn't grow nothing. Thank you. You want yours okay? <laughs> it's mine. Now back in, back, listen, back in Joseph's brother's name. His name was Jacob. Jacob. And he said, go down in Egypt and get us some food. Well, those boys just went right down there in Egypt and they got their food. And then they went home. And that happened. When they got back home, they opened their sacks to show their dad the food that they got. And there was the money that they had taken down there to buy the food. And they was scared because the money was still with them. Hungry the second time go back down there and get some food. And they said, no, not, not unless we, uh, because that man is, it wasn't very good to us and they didn't want to go. But they, he said they had to take the brother. So 11 of them went down there for needs, right? And he supplied the children of Israel. But that's how the children of Israel came to be in Egypt. Now we're going to do a little work, okay? And this is for those. We'll have to watch your little fingers don't cook this stuff in her mouth. Okay, we'll... Mama. Mama. I'll pull. Mama. Okay, now Mama. let's just put these out in the middle. Right like that for now. And, I'll, and I'm going to dump these out here on this thing right Mama. here. Oh, wait till she tells us what to do. Okay. Now, this is corn. See this? I thought we are going to make corn from that. Now, let me put this on here for you. I'm going to put it right down through here. It might be too And we're going to get a little messy. So we'll have to wash our hands, probably. Alpha four. There you go, Carrie. Hey, do you just leave it in knots? Or yes, she, yes, because that's supposed. Did you ever hear of Indian corn? No. Well, it's a it's colored corn. It's all different colors, uh -huh. and that's what this is going to be. Now you put it on your corn. I, I thought it has red. Told you that to you, Roger. You got it. Put it right there where she put. Yeah. Okay, that's what you do. You put these. She put it right in the middle, baby. And put different colors all down through there. Good job. Let me see if I can get another one. We'll just let her go right over this one. There, let me put some here, things. Have we'll put chair. some glue right right here. You made that. That was colored. You made that. Joy did. Here. Okay. Make corn. your now there you what you do to make your corn you just put one right here. And then, I know you do. Is there is a brown on the outside? Yeah, put as many as you can on there and put different colors so they'll be all mixed up pretty colors. Now 
making corn. Do you know why we're making corn? Yeah. Because we talked about corn for a little bit, didn't we? Yeah. But that was just because we. I got. I got. Can you put some glue on my outside? Want some more on there? Okay. Let's put a green one right there. You're doing okay, Carrie? Okay. You put stuff on it. You doing okay, Carrie? I'm not done. Oh, get a look at that. You want to put a little bit more on and make it a lot more? Okay, let's put some more in. And there's the other one right there. <laughs> okay, put him right down in there like that. You want to make some I'm good? done. You're done? All right. Now, just, okay. And how's Peppo and Ken Kenzie doing? We're making corn. Wait a minute. Okay, Carrie's got hers done. Are you done with yours? Yeah. Okay. Now. And we have to do the outside too. I know. Now, if we don't have them, um, Roger, after a while, maybe you would help them to color this part green. Oh, okay. And after this gets dry, you can color this green. And then you will have corn, okay? Take away till you range dry. Okay, you one. This is all yeah. Yeah. Carrie yeah. got them, Peppa. Okay, Carrie, we're gonna help you find yours. Get you get you something to work with. A whole bunch. <laughs> what, what do you want to work with? I want with. Is that what you're gonna work with? Okay. Okay, let's move this off the table so you I have plenty of room. I already know how to do this. I already know. Okay. I've been doing this. Carrie, do you know what a one looks like? Yeah. Uh, okay. Can I start? Can I go ahead? You can go right ahead. Okay, Carrie, draw a little line like this. Okay. Then we're going to draw from a two to the three, four, up to the five. Six, seven. We talked about seven a lot, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're going up to the eight, down to the nine, ten. Is that eleven? How, how do I get to the seven? This twelve. Way? Wait a minute. Let me look. Hold on, just a minute. Let me see. What are you looking for, honey? I'm, try I'm trying to get to the seventeen. Yeah. Well, okay. Which did you? Uh, there's sixteen. You come down here to 17. What are you making, Carrie? Uh -huh. and we got 11. Now we're going 12, 13. I made my cow. 14. I made my cow. 15. Then we're going over to 16. I made my Move cow. Your fingers. Very good. 17. So, Katie, that's Except what it meant during the fat years, the skinny cows. During the skinny years, they had to eat what they grew during the fat years. That's right. Skinny they, cows ate the fat cows because it meant the food they saved the first seven years, they had to eat it during the seven skinny years. That's why they put it all in the barn the first seven years. They put their food in the barns and, and saved it. They ate what they had to, but they saved enough for how many years, Carrie? Seven years. Seven years. Okay, let's count it. Let's count again. We're just going to sing. We're going to sing a song you already know. Okay. And we're going to, and we're going to use maracas. These are called maracas. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to go. Can you do that? Okay. You ready? Yes. Sing, sing real loud so I can hear, um, hear you singing with these. Okay. okay. You ready? Jesus loves me. I know. Sing with them. Okay, sing with them. You want to sing, Kenzie? Okay, ready? Get, get, get it ready. Four, three, 
I'm ready, kids. Yeah. We're going to say Bible, okay? This, okay, you want to say Bible this time? Yeah. Are you? Oh, okay. The B I D Get your girls to B I D L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand up on the word of God. The B I D L E. Bible. Good job. That's a great hey, job. Okay, I hear you. Say Bible. Good girl. She's got it really good. She can say it, and Carrie can say it. And it's the B I B L E. I brought Teddy. Jesus, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him be. Wow. 